shots. He finishes the first half two for nine from the field. And three out of four from the line. Seven points in a first half that saw Michael trying to find his way. The Bulls trying to adjust. The end result, the Pacers by ten. We'll be back in a moment. For years, people have done their thinking on the run. Now, they can do their business on the run, thanks to the breakthrough that fits in your pocket. Zorus, the personal digital assistant from Sharp that gives you the freedom to write it, type it, sign it, and fax it anytime, anywhere. John, hello, mate. Just got your fax. But you really should get out of the office a bit more. When the bear comes out of hibernation, what? motor skills are awkward. He is bad tempered. He hears little, sees less. But his sense of smell remains keen. The bear sniffs. The refreshing scent of coast revives him. Massive lather engulfs him. After which he becomes friendly and playful and can learn to do tricks. Coast, the eye opener. Today's the day to see your Toyota dealer and experience the luxury of Avalon. And right now, there's a wide selection starting at only $22,758. Experience the all-new Avalon. Hey, Chi-Chi, got room for a foursome? Sure, and then some. Take advantage of Toyota Previa's special lease program. Imagine a Previa with lots of options for only $2.99 a month. It's Toyota's Today's the Day spring sales event, so hurry. Hey, there's Chi-Chi. Michael Jordan. To find what you desire requires a great effort. You look thirsty. Gatorade. Thanks. I've come. I know why you have come. You wish to know the meaning of life. And? Life is a sport. Drink it up. That's what I figured. Another bestseller becomes an NBC event. Beautiful Olympic hopefuls are murdered. Open season on college girls. We've got a real lunatic on our hands. Two cops taunted by a brilliant killer. It's a game to him. He gets to make all the rules. Solving a sick puzzle before he kills again. No! Alex MacArthur, Randy Quaid, Ed McBain's 87th Precinct, NBC Tonight. This is the Prudential Halftime Report. Brought to you by the Prudential. Peace of mind. It comes with every piece of the rock. Halftime at Market Square Arena with the Pacers leading the Bulls 47 to 37. Michael Jordan, two for nine with seven points as he returns to the NBA. Hannah Storm along with Julia Serving, and we'll get Doc's impressions of Michael Jordan's first half of NBA basketball in 21 months. And we'll also bring you highlights of the Jazz and the Hornets a little bit later on. But first, let's head back to Market Square Arena and rejoin Bob Costas. Bob? All right, Hannah, thanks very much. Seated with me is John Paxson, the former Bulls sharpshooter who, in fact, hit the three-pointer that won the third of the three consecutive Bulls championships in June of 93, the last NBA game Michael played prior to today. Very simply, how does he look to you? I think he looks great, to be honest with you. You expect the fact that his legs are going to be a little fatigued, he's going to be short or off on his jump shot a little bit, but what I didn't recognize was his jump shot was right on target. I compare this a little bit back to when Michael came off a broken foot in 85-86, and he came came back for the last few games, his timing was off, and that's what I see out there in the first half. What are the telltale signs that fans should look for, either that he's fatigued or that he's beginning to round into condition? Uh, the only thing I've looked for this half is if he can get his shot when he wants to, and that's what I've seen. Although the shot's been off, he's able to get to anywhere he wants on the floor. That's a perfect example right there where he gets a shot against Reggie Miller, raises up. I think he looks fine, just a little fatigued. The new rules in the NBA figure to help. Limits on hand checking, closer three-point line, a wider court, which has always played to the Bulls' style anyway. Well, who, before Michael retired, was able to guard him in the first place? I think now the fact that if you touch him, put your hand on him, he's going to find himself the free throw line an awful lot. When I say a wider court, they haven't actually widened it geographically, but the style of play with the new rules tends to create more spacing. Yeah, and the game has become matchups and isolation, and what better player to isolate with than Michael Jordan? I think now the Bulls have three guys you can really go to, Tony Kukoc, Scottie Pippen, and Michael Jordan. You know, you can wonder whether he'll be rusty. You could look at it the other way, though. 
maybe he's fresher than everybody else after a grueling regular season going into the playoffs and there really are no great teams left. The depth that you used to see from the great Laker and Celtic and Piston teams isn't there in the league anymore. No, I think the Bulls may want to be may be one of the deepest teams in the league and you throw Michael into this mix he's got a month to fine tune his game to get his game in shape to get that jump shot down and come playoff time where a lot of times he struggled just because he'd been beaten up all season long. I think he's going to be fine come May and June. Two things real quick. What does it mean to the guy who in effect stands in your place a B.J. Armstrong or a Steve Kerr to be able to be on the receiving end of those catch and shoots? I wish I was there. <laughs> Can he be the best player in the league again? I, I wouldn't put anything past Michael. I have tremendous confidence in him and this is another challenge he's accepted and I expect great things from Michael. John, thanks very much. Thanks, Always Bob. good to see you. Let's go back to New York and rejoin Hannah Storm. All right, thanks a lot, Bob. And before we get Julie Serving's take on Michael Jordan's return, let's hear from one of Michael's best friends, Charles Barkley, who spoke with our Jim Gray last night. Do you feel as though Michael can com come back right now and perform at the level that he was? No, I don't think. I think uh, maybe in the, like, uh, in the beginning he might have a big adrenaline rush and he's going to play well. But uh, as far as reaching the level he reached a few years ago, that's impossible. You know, I don't think anybody can ever attain something two years later that they had that's impossible your own personal retirement now that michael's back might you reconsider and play a no, few I more years not, now i have not even mentioned retirement this season if my health holds up i'm going to play i mean the only reason i considered retiring last year was because of my back i've been healthy all season and our retirement is, is something i had not even mentioned this season you're inspired by his return uh not you know it really doesn't affect us until, unless they get to the finals i think that we feel like we had the best record in the league and our goal is to get to the finals. And if they can get to the finals, it would be great to have a rematch. But they got a tougher road. You know, we're going to be at home at least two out of three series, more than likely. They have to win every series on the road. So it'd be a great rematch. Charles, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. No problem. Dr. J, interesting that Charles Barkley says he doesn't think Michael Jordan can reattain the level of play that he had two seasons ago. How do you think he's doing so far? Well, so far, Michael's had a, a shaky start. It would have been easier for him if his teammates maybe had tried to get him a layup early or he had done something to get to the foul line early in the game. That always makes it easier. But uh, Michael's at that age where it's not going to be impossible for him to get into great shape, get into competitive condition, and then return to form. It's just not happening in this first game. Now you told us last week you didn't think he was coming back. You surprised? I, I am very surprised uh, that he came back, but uh, now that he is back, you know, you have to accept that. And I've always, uh, you know, had a philosophy that uh, a player who has ability and who has talent uh, is great to see if he's doing what is the things that are going to help to make his team a winner. And Michael is doing that today. Uh, there, other than his scoring, which is very down, uh, he's uh, garnering the attention of the Indiana Pacers. He's gotten them pumped up, which is kind of counterproductive for, to the Bulls effort right now. But, you know, it's great for the fans. It's great for basketball. I'm happy to see him back out there. All right, good, as are we all. And by the way, after today, the Bulls have 16 regular season games remaining. Here's a look at the next few. On Wednesday, Michael makes what will in all likelihood be his final visit to Boston Garden. Friday, Michael's first regular season game at the United Center against former teammate Horace Grant and the Orlando Magic. Then he is at Atlanta and then at his arch rivals, the New York Knicks. He visits Madison Square Garden. The Boston Celtics will retire the jersey of Reggie Lewis on Wednesday night with Michael Jordan on hand. But new questions surrounding Lewis's death in 1993 have been brought up. Northeastern President John Curry suspended an assistant for not telling him that Lewis tested positive for cocaine when he was playing at the school in 1987. Scar tissue on Lewis's heart may have been from earlier cocaine use. We should mention here that there is no indication that Lewis used cocaine after 1987. He entered the NBA later that year. On the court, there is another very good matchup going on right now between Utah and Charlotte, and we will bring you some coverage of that game right after this message from Prudential and a word from the NBA. Financial concerns, medical problems, anxiety about the future. 50 million Americans turn for help to one particular company. A company whose sole purpose has always been to bring them to a different state of mind. Peace of mind. Security. Protection. Optimism. Peace of mind. It comes with every piece of the rock. There's a lot of debate these days about whether sports heroes should be considered role models. Well, I think that if strength and determination come into play, 
If overcoming obstacles and being a team player are considered, if digging deep inside each and every day helps qualify you for role model status, then I'd like you to consider my role model. Come see these sports heroes in the Special Olympics 1995 World Games this summer in Connecticut. The Utah Jazz sit atop the Midwest Division, tied with Orlando and Phoenix for the best record in the NBA. They are in Charlotte right now playing the Hornets. Let's check out the action from the Hive with Tom Hammond and Bill Walton. Gentlemen. Guy work off your screens. And welcome to those of you who have been watching the Chicago-Indiana game. Tom Hammond with Bill Walton and Jim Gray. Pacers up 10 at halftime. Here at the Charlotte Coliseum, 2.36 left third quarter with the Hornets leading the Utah Jazz 80 to 61. It's been the Alonzo morning show for the Charlotte Hornets today. Utah has had no answer for the Hornets big man. Morning, 31.7 rebounds. Perimeter shooting has been spectacular. The defense solid enough. And a flat Utah team that has not run enough today to this very tough building where you have to try to get those big road victories. Del Curry for three. John Crotty chases it down. John Stockton on the bench for the Jazz at the moment. Antoine Carr inside. Pretty left-handed shot. The bench finally started to make its mark for Utah. It has been all Charlotte, although their bench, Charlotte's bench has been relatively quiet. Parrish and Del Curry, the only contributors today for Alan Bristow. But Adam Keefe, Antoine Carr, Crotty, Blue Edwards, not gotten it done today for the normally productive Utah Jazz bench. Curry fighting to get back his miss out of bounds to Utah. But what Antoine Carr gives the Utah Jazz is a second Carl Malone type player. A guy you can post up, a guy who will get the big rebounds, play the tough defense, be the mental and physical enforcer out there intimidating the other team. Thanks, guys. A look at Antoine Carr, who uh, the team acquired this year. But one problem for the Hornets, a uh, problem for the Jazz playing the Hornets this afternoon is in the middle. Carr simply uh, not getting it done at the center position along with James Donaldson as Alonzo Mourning is dominating this game. 31 points, 17 rebounds, and a block. Carl Malone has 14 uh, points in this game and uh, another piece of NBA news. Michael Jordan may have come out of retirement, but not so for former Giants quarterback Phil Simms. There's been much speculation that Sims would return to football by signing with the Cleveland Browns, but instead, Phil Sims is going to remain in broadcasting. In fact, he has signed a long-term deal with NBC Sports to be part of our NFL broadcasting team. He will also do non-football assignments and be part of our team at the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta. Phil will be joining us here in the studio following the basketball game to shed some light on his decision. Once again, it's halftime at Market Square Arena with the Pacers leading the Bulls by 10 points. We'll send it back to Marv, Matt, and Ahmad for the second half right after these messages from your local station. This has been the Prudential Halftime Report, brought to you by the Prudential. Peace of mind. It comes with every piece of the rock. WNYX Radio has just announced a no-smoking policy. Bill, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Rude. Where do you suggest we set up this smoking area? How about a mobile 10-foot radius around me? Something wrong? Are you sure? Are you sure there's nothing the matter? Okay, you go. <laughs> Bill Hartman stars in News Radio, premiering Tuesday after Wings on NBC. Now at Pit Boys, get any four of our 35,000-mile all-season steel-belted tires at an incredible low $99.96. That's right, any size, any set of four, just $99.96 at Pet Boys now. No matter what you drive, Pep Boys motor oil meets or exceeds virtually all manufacturer's specifications. Now only 79 cents a quart, just $9.48 a case. That's right, 79 cents a quart, $9.48 a case only at Pep Boys. Hey, Burn, what you reading? The auto classifieds. Burn, don't any news from the real world make it up to your tub? All you got to remember, Burn, is John L. Sullivan, Chevy Geo, and Roseville Toyota in the Roseville Auto Mall. 
John L. Sullivan has got it all. Read my lips, Vern. Sullivan. So come on, Vern. Let's go. Oh, and Vern, I like your little rubber duck. <laughs> Sundays at 6.30 on Channel 3. is the Game of the Week on NBC. Welcome back to Indianapolis. Michael Jordan making his way back out of the court for the second half. Indiana with the 10-point lead on Chicago. Marv Albert along with uh, Matt Gukas. Jordan in the first half, 19 minutes, 2 of 9 from the field. And the Bulls looking very tentative in that first half. They've been watching him a little bit, but the toughest part for Michael over the next four or five games will be trying to establish his own game and blending in with his teammates who have been battling together for six months. It's going to be a tough task. He's the man that can do it, though. All right, let's take a look at the Miller Lite halftime statistics. Overall, the Bulls only only 11 for 33. 33% shooting the Pacers 17 of 39 from the field. There you see the stat line on, on Jordan. Two of nine from the floor. Three of four from the foul line. And this, uh, the big number. Pacers out-rebounding the Bulls 30 to 13. Dale Davis with 15 rebounds in the first half. His career high accomplished on two occasions, 22-15 in the first half. We'll be back with the second half from Market Square right after this. Brooklyn, 1931. Acting on a tip-off, detectives raid premises downtown. Busting a gang attempting to copy Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola's ingredients are one of the world's best-kept secrets, so any fraud is easy to detect. Let that be a warning. Nothing else tastes like Coca-Cola. Just another day for the feds and their new recruit. This isn't Hollywood. This is the Army. A place that prepares you to think, to act, to be a part of the real world. A world where change is rapid, where technology keeps expanding. By the year 2000, there'll be as many computers as people. So get ready for tomorrow in the high-tech army of today. Because we've already begun the 21st century in America's army. at t this is Emily. Emily, listen, my friend Doug told me something that shocked me. Uh -huh. He said that he saves on calls to anybody. That's at t True Savings. Anybody? Anybody in the U.S. Because I'm not making any circles. No circles. And I'm not ratting out my friends. <laughs> no circles. Just sign up, make $10 in calls a month, and we'll subtract 25% off your at t bill. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I want it. at t True Savings. Save 25% to anybody, anytime, anywhere. Your true voice. Dear Midas, while visiting my family in Gainesville, my brakes made strange noises and stopped working. I went to two dealers and got the same answer. We can't get brake parts for your car. We can't get brake parts for your car. A third dealer suggested... Call Midas. Your guys removed my wheels, inspected my brakes, and told me... We can take care of it. My hat goes off to your employees for such helpful service. Thank you. Bill Cohn. Next Sunday, Shaq, Penny, and the Magic drive towards the playoffs. Orlando Arena has truly been the Magic Kingdom for the Eastern Conference leaders. They own the best home record in the NBA. Now, the Magic try to put a spell on the Warriors when they take the floor at the Arena. Tip off just after 12 noon Eastern, next Sunday on NBC. As we head to the start of play in the third quarter, Indiana with a 47-37 lead on Chicago. Pacers have led all the way, and they have led by as many as 18. A look at the leading scorers. Scotty Pippen with 13. B.J. Armstrong, who has hit the three-pointer. He's hit three from downtown. He has 11. Michael Jordan with seven points. While the Indiana Pacers with one man in double figures, Reggie Miller, four of nine from the field, three of seven from beyond the three-point line with 15 points, eight apiece for Smiths and McKee, seven for Dale Davis along with 15 boards.